Hello and uh, welcome to this uh, video. Uh, in this video we're going to fake some seams using our UV edges in Substance Painter. So um, just a note on how uh, the UVs are on this. I made it in Marvelous Designer. Uh, you can see all my UVs are um, set out in squares. Each of these squares corresponds to one of the squares on the uh, blanket. Uh, so with that said let's go over to substance and I've imported in bank my maps and just put some colors on because uh, what I want to show you is just how to fake the uh, the edges so we can have raised pieces so uh, I've got each of my materials here and for my top one I'm going to add a new fill layer I'm going to set that fill layer to just height only and I'll give it some height uh, let's put it up to max just so we can see it. So to control that height I'm going to add a black mask and add a generator to that black mask and that generator will be uh, the UV border uh, which will look weird to start with uh, because we need to adjust it. So let's go to material and mask and then we can see what it looks like and we need to take the balance down there we go, just getting a bit closer and as soon as we start to do that we should see that when we go back to our material we're getting some sort of height going on uh, it's the wrong way I think so I'm going to hit false to invert it uh, but it's a bit sharp so right click on the mask add a filter and for that filter I'm going to use blur and then we can increase or decrease the blur as we need so depending upon how thick you want your tiles uh, you know how much of a border you want it's a question of just adjusting the balance here to take it back to the edge and for your softness we can increase the blur to give it a bit of uh, you know a bit more gentle uh, an effect okay so for this layer uh, I want it on all of my other pieces so rather than copy and paste it and do all that sort of stuff uh, I'm going to instance it uh, so I'm going to uh, instantiate across texture sets and just pick my S2 and, S and uh, trim there and click OK and now I've got height nice little seams all over my piece and the only one I have to actually change is the first one that we did so if I think that's too uh, wide I can take it down and it will take it down for all of the layers it's really really fine now 0, 0, 5 there we go okay so I hope you found that useful uh, as long as your you know, model is UV'd in such a way that you know the edge of your UVs correspond to where your seams want to be you know you can use this option to do that okay so I hope you found that useful and uh, I'll talk to you in another video